Hey everyone, welcome to Lizzie's Little Library and the Newberry Project. Today's book is the 1979 winner called The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. This is the only prize or Newberry honor that she has won. And I'd been looking forward to reading this one for a while. I do like to read a kid's mystery to see if I can solve it. Plus, this book reminds me of the Tim Curry movie Clue. Unfortunately, I had previously read parts of this with one of my students who told me the ending. So let's see if I can pick up the clues along the way and unravel how the whodunit gets reviewed, revealed. I will not be spoiling the ending. So I liked the first page of this book. I thought it was a great way to pique the reader's interest. So I'll just read uh, page one from chapter one called Sunset Towers. The sun sets in the west, but Sunset Towers faced east. Strange. Sunset Towers face east and had no towers. This glittery, glassy apartment house stood alone on the Lake Michigan shore, five stories high. Five empty stories high. Then one day, it happened to be the 4th of July, a most uncommon looking delivery boy rode around town slipping letters under the doors of the chosen tenants to be. The letters were signed Barney Northup. The delivery boy was 62 years old and there was no such person as Barney Northup. So I thought that was a funny, interesting way to start the book. I definitely wanted to read more after that. The story then introduces the characters of Sunset Towers and gives each of their reactions to seeing smoke coming from the chimney of the Westing House, which has long time been a vacant house of the late paper emperor, Mr. Westing. By the end of chapter four, they have all been notified they're in his will and should report to the mansion for its reading. And the back cover has a great play on words. The will reveals the disparate group are all nieces and nephews of Westing, and one of them killed him. So on the back, it says, uh, when there's a will, there's a way. And Sam Westing has left quite a will. So I liked that. I, I, you know, cute, cute little play on words. There is another example where each of the characters is asked what is their their position or their station in life. And just as a couple examples, we have one, it says judge, appellate division of the state Supreme Court, heiress, restaurateur, deliverer, brother, first in all state high school mile run, secretary to the president, and then a character named Angela, who's young, maybe 18, 20. She wrote down none, as in she doesn't have a position. And her fiance later is listening and it says Denton Deer was troubled. What in the world did Angela mean by none? But instead of none, as in nothing, he's hearing it like none, as in the religious figure. So again, cute little, cute little play on words there. So to start the Westing game, each pair of characters, they have to work with a partner, is given a set of words. For example, one team receives Skies Am Shining Brother. And I can't make heads or tails of any of these clues so far. But it seems pretty obvious the solution will be found by working together with the other teams. Their goal is to win. But there's no real instructions on how that happens. So one of the teams decides that must mean someone is a twin. And they try to unearth who is secretly a twin. It goes nowhere. Another team decides that somehow this is related to the stock market. And they would win the game by getting the greatest return on investment. So again, kind of funny, but that plot line didn't really go anywhere either. One thing that did bother me here is the teams didn't get any additional clues. Eventually, they all met up and shared their words. And then they were summoned to the Westing house and asked to make a guess. With no further directions beyond just make a guess. And the guesses, predictably, were comically all over the place and had no theme. Eventually, the game is solved. Then the story gives us an update a few months later and another update years later. I did like that. The end. I didn't love this book. And it sounds, listening to my review, it sounds more funny than it really was. There were a couple of clever parts, but overall, I just found that it didn't really go anywhere. I wanted them to be getting more clues like every chapter or every other chapter. I really wanted a play-along book. 
Other small complaints, I thought there were too many characters. There were 16 main characters. I, I thought that was too much. And again, the, the mystery was just impossible to solve. Not to mention, there were a lot of tangents that went nowhere. For example, two restaurants fought for building, fought for business at the building. There were four small bombs at the apartment building where they all lived. That should have been major. We do find out who was doing it and why, but it wasn't really contributing anything to the larger mystery. Also, ch personal items went missing and were later returned with no real explanation. Even knowing the twist ahead of time did not help me sift through the game. I wanted it to be a lot more like The Eleventh Hour by Graham Bass, which was super fun to pour over all the text and all of the pictures because there were so many clues hidden within it. So I really can't recommend this book. I think younger readers would not be able to follow all the main characters. And I think older readers would be bored. For younger reader mysteries, I definitely prefer Karen McManus. She's the author of One of Us is Lying, One of Us is Next, You'll Be the Death of Me. I've read those three. And she also did The Cousins, which I haven't read yet. So I know those are more YA as opposed to kids mysteries, but whatever. For what it's worth, I also really like the Trixie Belden series, which came out in like, I don't know, the 1960s. Those are super, uh, super, super innocent. I really like them. They're mysteries. Everything always works out fine. Again, I don't know that kids would love those, but I don't think kids would love this either. So I'm going on a tangent at this point. <laughs> I just said the book had too many tangents and now I'm going on a tangent. So I'll probably review all the Trixie Beldens at some point. I own all of them and I've read probably 20 out of the 36. I'm thinking I'll read them all in order eventually. So those will be coming. This is the Westing game. I didn't like it. I liked the idea of it more than the actual execution. So sorry, can't recommend this one. The next book is called A Gathering of Days by Joan Bloss. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.